In this topic, we're going to discuss the introduction to transport in plants. So today we're going to look at what organisms need a transport system, what do plants transport, what are xylem and phloem, and where are xylem and phloem located in the stem and root, and then finally, what are the structures of xylem vessels and phloem tubes. So when you see the word in purple, fill it in in your notes. Most living organisms need a transport system. Only very small organisms, as you can see in this diagram here, you've got bacteria, protoctists, and some worms do not have transport systems. This is because their bodies are so small or so flat that they can rely on diffusion alone to obtain oxygen and to remove carbon dioxide. Now vertebrates and flowering plants are large organisms and they need transport systems to carry substances, for example food and water, throughout their bodies. These transport systems move fluids through tubes so that all of the fluid moves in the same direction within each tube. This type of transport is called mass flow. So vertebrates have a circulatory system consisting of a pump and blood vessels. Flowering plants have got two separate transport systems. They've got xylem and phloem. The transport system in plants is less elaborate compared to vertebrates. This is because plants are less active than mammals, and so their cells do not need to be supplied with material so quickly. Also, the branching shape of a plant means that all the cells can get their oxygen for respiration and carbon dioxide for photosynthesis directly from the air by diffusion. So what do plants transport? Water and mineral salts are transported from the roots to the rest of the plant and this occurs through the xylem. Sugars and amino acids are transported from the leaves where they're made or from areas of storage to the rest of the plant and this occurs through the phloem. Now, xylem and phloem are plant tissues composed of cells that are specialized for transport. These tissues are found throughout the plant in the roots, stems, and leaves. As I just mentioned, xylem tissues transport water and mineral ions. So the roots absorb the water and mineral ions from the soil. These enter the xylem in the root and then they travel upwards into the stem or in the stem to the leaves, flowers, and fruits. So transport in the xylem is in one direction only, from the roots via the stem to the leaves. Phloem tissues transport sucrose, amino acids, and hormones throughout the plant. Sucrose is a soluble complex sugar which is made especially for transporting energy. So it's made in the leaves where the sugars from photosynthesis are converted into sucrose. And it's also converted from starch in the storage organs, for example, swollen roots and stems. Substances are transported in the phloem in two directions. So you've got downwards from the leaves to the roots and upwards from the leaves to the flowers, fruits and buds. Also from storage organs to new stems and leaves. So xylem vessels and phloem tubes are usually found together. A group of xylem vessels and phloem tubes is called a vascular bundle. So here you can see the position of the vascular bundles in the root and shoots. If you have a look at this diagram, you can notice that the xylem and phloem in the vascular bundles is towards the center in the root, whilst in the stem, the vascular bundles are located towards the edge of the stem. So the vascular bundles continue all the way into the leaf. Can you see how the main vein in the leaf, if you cut through a leaf, you'll see the main vein comprises xylem and phloem. So looking at xylem vessels, these are like a long drain pipe. 
So xylem vessels are made of many hollow dead cells joined end to end. The end walls of the cells have disappeared, so a long open tube is formed. Xylem vessels run from the roots of the plant right up through the stem, and they branch out in every leaf. Xylem vessels contain no cytoplasm or nuclei. Their walls are made of cellulose and lignin. So lignin is very strong, so it helps to keep the plant upright. Wood is almost entirely of lignified xylem vessels. Like xylem vessels, flown tubes are made of many cells joined end to end. However, the end walls have not completely broken down. Instead, they form sieve plates, which have small holes in them. The cells are called sieve tube elements. Sieve tube elements contain cytoplasm, but no nucleus. They do not have lignin in their cell walls. Each sieve tube element has got a companion cell next to it, as you can see in this diagram here. And the companion cell does have a nucleus and also contains many other organelles. So companion cells probably supply the sieve tube elements with some of their requirements. Okay, in summary, we looked at what organisms need a transport system, what do plants transport, what is xylem and phloem? Can you remember where xylem and phloem are located in the stem and root? And then the different structures of xylem compared to phloem. And that concludes our lesson. The end.